This is Lord's Cricket Ground, the home of the game on a, a beautifully sunny spring day. Some of the greatest battles in the history of cricket have taken place at this venue beneath the shadows of the famous old pavilion and beneath the shadow of the new and exciting J.P. Morgan Media Centre behind me. J.P. Morgan's association with the game of cricket isn't that new, funnily enough. The family have a long history of loving the game. J. Pierpont Morgan himself and his son Jack had some serious battles. Dover House and Wall Hall they used to live and they'd fight each other in needle games that used to be played for a few bob, I'm sure. The game of cricket now, of course, has expanded almost exponentially when Thomas Lord moved the old ground here. It was a pretty simple fare, but these days test matches, even schools matches, are still played on this famous piece of turf. The museum here at Lord's is one of the very best museums for sporting artefacts anywhere in the world. We have around 50,000 people visit uh, the museum each year. We've got all sorts of cricketing art artefacts, paintings, pictures. We have the Ashes Urn, which generates huge interest. We're delighted this year to be hosting an exhibition entitled Cricket's Crown Jewels, which focuses on 150 years of the Wisdom Cricketers' Almanac. And we're only able to do that because of the partnership we have and the support we've had from J.P. Morgan. Lords is a institution with a lot of history, a lot of pedigree. It stands for cricket, which is, you know, a, a bellwether for fair play and values. And a lot of that mirrors, you know, what JP Morgan is, is all about. And when you bring these two iconic names and institutions together, it's like a marriage uh, made in heaven. The reach of cricket is pretty far, and by the sponsorship, we wanted to basically attract a lot of our clients in, in all these parts of the world. The JP Morgan International Cricket Cup is the first ever non-professional tournament to be played on this hallowed turf at Lords. Um, it is a, an absolutely fantastic opportunity. It's a money can buy experience, and to have our clients from around the world, you know, spend a day with us and, and have the opportunity to play here is truly unique. Last year at the JP Morgan Day. I played one game on the nursery ground and one on the main square, and we had great fun and caught, caught a brilliant catch, even for us as for myself. So a good opportunity, I think, for a good two-way relationship, and maybe we should have more cricket days. The partnership between JP Morgan and MCC is a really creative one, and one of the best I've been involved with. We run very, very innovative community programs and outreach programs in Sri Lanka, in Afghanistan, as well as in this country. And uh, we see that as a hugely important part of our role. And in working with JP Morgan, it's something we're very, very keen to develop. With the embodiment uh, of the spirit of cricket, uh, we, we do an awful lot of work with that, with Chance to Shine, and also with young children around the country. And we're custodians of the laws of the game. That's a very important part of our global role. JP Morgan prides itself on its philanthropic activity worldwide and this sponsorship of Lords has really enabled us to extend the reach of that philanthropic activity. Via the Social Mobility Foundation, we've had the chance to have bright kids from less privileged backgrounds get exposed to the spirit of cricket. This really opened up the game and also opened doors uh, to these less privileged uh, children. And we look forward to the continuation of this hugely successful partnership. I think we can say that Cricket's more than a game. Cricket's a way of life, maybe even a reflection on the rhythm of life. <laughs>